Hi, welcome to all about mechanical engineering. As we have seen in the previous video, we have derived the general form of steady flow energy equation. Now, in today's video, we will apply the same equation for a device called as nozzle and we'll see what is the steady flow energy equation for this device. So, in order to apply, the appli apply this steady flow energy equation for this device that is nozzle, as we can see here, this is a convergent divergent nozzle. Basically, there are three types of nozzles. One is convergent nozzle, second is divergent nozzle and third is convergent divergent nozzle. So this is a convergent and divergent nozzle. The only thing which we have to remember while drawing this diagram is the length A should not be equal to length B. Otherwise, the device is not going to be having any importance because the portion of this converging and diverging if it is same then there is no use of this device so here a should not be equal to b now all these types of nozzles are used to change the velocity of a flowing fluid so here the purpose is to change the velocity now as we can see if this is the datum then this is the input height and this is the output height. So let us say this is Z1 and this is Z2. So they are almost same. So because of this, I can say as Z1 is equal to Z2, therefore changes in potential energy will be equal to zero. So this is the first thing for nozzle. Second, in case of a nozzle, neither work is obtained nor it is supplied. So there is no work interaction so w becomes zero second condition the third thing neither heat is supplied to a nozzle nor heat is being rejected by the nozzle so q is also zero so there is no heat interaction no work interaction and change in potential energy is zero because we have a horizontal nozzle because of which potential energy change is zero now there may be a case where you have a nozzle which is vertical and you have the position like this so this is the inlet and this is the outlet so in this case we can say that there is certain amount of change in potential energy but as compared to the total change in velocity this change in potential energy is almost negligible because this is the height from the datum for inlet and this is the height at the outlet so the device is very small so as compared to the total height this difference is very less now we have studied the general form so general steady flow energy equation is given by q minus w is equals to half v2 square minus v1 square plus g into bracket z2 minus z1 plus h2 minus h1 so there are three terms one change in kinetic energy second change in potential energy and this is the change in enthalpy this equation i have written on the basis of unit mass basis so here this is the equation now substituting these conditions we get zero minus zero is equals to half v2 square minus v1 square plus this is the potential energy change so it becomes 0 plus h2 minus h1 now rearranging the term and taking this term on this side so it becomes minus of h2 minus h1 is equals to half v2 square minus v1 square now taking this minus inside we get minus h2 plus h1 is equals to half v2 square minus v1 square rearranging this it becomes h1 minus h2 is equals to half v2 square minus v1 square so what does this equation indicates it indicates that this is the change in enthalpy and this is the change in kinetic energy now if there is an equal to sign if this term is positive that means h1 is greater than h2 and this side in order to have this term positive 
V2 square should be greater means whatever enthalpy was more at the inlet than the outlet here the velocity of outlet should be more as compared to velocity at inlet. So basically nozzle deals with change in velocity of a flowing fluid. So this is the equation. Now we can rewrite it in terms of outlet velocity. Let us say we have rearranged the terms. Taking 2 on this side it becomes v2 square minus v1 square is equals to 2 into bracket h1 minus h2. Then taking this term on this side v2 square is equals to 2 h1 minus h2 plus v1 square. Taking under root v2 is equals to under root of 2 h1 minus h2 plus v1 square. So this is in terms of output velocity. Now as compared to output velocity the input velocity of a nozzle is very less. So if we say neglecting input velocity that is v1 v2 is equals to under root of 2 into bracket h1 minus h2. So whatever output velocity we are getting that is nothing but change in enthalpy with this term. So this was all about application of steady flow energy equation to a nozzle. So this is steady flow energy equation for a nozzle for output velocity and in general this is the equation. So hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and share our videos with your friends and stay connected with us. Thank you for watching this video.